first one we, we haven't got a name for. If anyone knows the name, do let us know, we don't. And uh, neither does Harry Bradley, who's a fantastic flute player from Belfast, and he's, he's the one we nicked the tune up, some of his albums, and that's great. That's a flutey tune, really, but we got the pipes and the harp in on it anyway. Uh, the second is a tune called Knuck On and Temple, and that's from a very old collection of music. It's from the, the Goodman collection. And uh, Canon Goodman was a man, he was a, he was a Protestant minister. He was uh, the first ever professor of Irish at Trinity College. And uh, basically his job was to go down to uh, Kerry and live there and you know, try to, to spread the good word, I suppose, and convert the locals to Protestantism. But what he really did was play a rake of tunes and collect even more, which is fantastic, and loads of songs. So we have all those, it's great. And that's from that collection. And we finished off with a... Uh, 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 a very appropriate tune, maybe not for the time of day, but definitely for the location called Ton Quilch of Fogarton Lay, which means when the cock crows it is day. And if you live here, you know that. We're going to follow that now with um, a barn dance and a couple of reels. The barn dance is called Charlie O'Neill's. It's not the only time Charlie O'Neill will come up in this concert, but it's the first time. That's quite good. Then the second reel is called The Destitution. Then we're going to have the rectory reel, and finally we're going to have a, a reel which uh, we all learned in our student days, and it's called I Have No Money. <laughs> <laughs>
perform a song now, and this is a song uh, from Mayo called Cooking Glen Nathan, which means the little cuckoo of Glen Nathan. And uh, I would have heard this first actually, uh, not sung at all, but uh, played on the pipes um, by a piper from Waterford called David Power. And then, um, a just fantastic singing teacher in college, Shannon singing teacher called Antonio Farrakhan. And I knew him long before college. I would have known him from kind of playing tunes around festivals and the, the Willie Clancy and you, you know, whatever you do, you can't kind of get away from him. You always run into someone, which is great. And uh, his catchphrase is, there, there's words with that, you know. Yeah. So um, he told me one time, he, uh, I played it as a slower, and he said, oh, there's words with that, you know. And so I learned the words off him. And um, because I'm putting my drums away, Robert's going to play some drums on a thing called a fruity box, which is a very nifty invention indeed. I think it's is it from India. Is it? A fruity box. Shrutty box, S H R U T T I. And it's got bellows like the pipes, and reeds like the pipes, and drums like the pipes. But that's where the comparison ends. Cooking without navy. Yeah. 
gig in front of a live audience in almost two years, which is incredible. <laughs> also my first ever gig in front of a livestock audience. <laughs> so uh, this is a great occasion, and to celebrate, we're going to play a set of tunes called The Happy Polkas. Um, I don't know if any of you were watching Shea Malayek a couple of weeks ago, um, but um, two people that I learned some music from years ago as a kid um, were celebrating on that program. Um, Phil Murphy and John Murphy from Banno in County Wexford, and uh, myself and, and Fiona actually, when we were um, poor students back in the day, used to have a band with Tanya, their daughter. And um, this is a set of tunes that I learned from them 20 years ago. It's, the first one is the Church Street Polka. We've got a very religious theme going on. I think we've <laughs> all uh, converted since, uh, <laughs> since, since lockdown. Yeah pandemic has brought us closer, <laughs> closer to our spiritual side. <laughs> um, so the Church Street Polka and then the Happy Polka. And first some tuning. <laughs>
arts music. So this is Celia Canellan, and it was written by Thomas Canellan, who was one of two brothers who lived in Sligo and wrote over 200 pieces for the harp in the 17th century. So it's actually a gorgeous song as well, but we're going to go for an instrumental version today. <laughs>
why shall they stay perfectly in tune? Were the headphones too warm or too cold or too dry or too humid? Were there's too many people in the room or not enough people in the room? Or if the stars are aligned or if they're not? And, but the rest of the time they just stay in tune all the time. <laughs> about it. Um, 
and this, this woman appears to him magically and then she disappears again and it's terrible. And that's um, the story of quite a lot of songs, including this one. <laughs> <laughs>
and um, we used to meet before COVID and um, every Friday night in the Cultorlum out in Monkstown and we'd play silly flute tunes by the fire and it was lovely. And so tonight we're going to play another set of silly flute tunes. This set of tunes are from Donegal Golf and um, they're tunes that were played by Johnny Doherty, the great fiddle player. He got them um, from some sheet music that made their way over from Germany and so he called the, this type of tune a German because it came from Germany. And the first one is known as the Donegal German um, and the second one is Charlie O'Neill. So you may remember Charlie O'Neill from earlier. We thought since we gave Good Man a Good outing, we give Charlie O'Neill a couple of tunes as well. Um, I think the tuning comes first in the June semester. <laughs> Dame, 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 dame,
Well, Fiona's getting himself organised. I say we, I haven't played anything else so this <laughs> this too. As it's their last set, which I'm very much looking forward to joining in on, um, I'd just like to remind you that the coffee hut is open afterwards. I'm going to be scooting over, so if you'd like uh, a beverage or an ice cream, <laughs> or, or a CD in fact, um, they'll all be available at the coffee hut. And um, I'd love to see you there and to chat to you there. And uh, if you'd like an autograph or to chat to the musicians, they'll be up here at the end. Thank you again for coming.